Greetings, fellow detectives. Wizard Kitten 774 here, bringing you commentary, clues, and cookies. We are continuing with Nancy Drew Secrets Can Kill, and we've just entered the library at Paseo del Mar High. Lots to see in here. Let's just kind of walk around and see what all we can look at. One kind of cool aspect of this game is that it's chock full of cookies, especially in the library here. So if we look on some of these shelves, we'll find books from other games, like this one, Gemstones and How to Identify Them from Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon. You don't need to read these books, they're more here just for fun. I like to just scan the shelves to see what all I can find. Aha! Ah, Ichido from Danger by Design. What next? Religious Relics of Venice from F The Phantom of Venice. <laughs> More books. Oh, nope, same books. Gotta be some over here. Ah, monsters. The werewolf book from Curse of Blackmore Manor. And we'll see all of these books in future games. So rather than being cookies, if you had never played Secrets Can Kill before, this remastered version is almost like a hint to the games that you will see earlier or later. Let's see, so we've explored that side. What do we got? Let's go over here. Nice info desk. Some magazines. You can look at Sports Today magazine. With an article about steroid abuse. It's interesting. This is also a cookie. That is from... Uh, Secret of the Scarlet Hand, this magazine down here. Some more fan art on the side here. Marie Antoinette. There's Mel from Warnings at Waverly Academy. There's Nancy in Hauntings of Castle Malloy. So yeah, just some really cool fan art. Let's look here at the maps. This is the drawer we can open, and under it we have this code, and we'll need to write down sodium, and the direction for that is left three. And then if you read the red letter letters first, and then the blue letters, you get, if anything happens to me, search under my combo in catalog anything happens to me, search under my combo in the catalog. Interesting. Sounds like a good hint. Braille. This will be important later, knowing where this braille book is. Let's see, what else can we look at of these shelves? Ah, we have a Encyclopedia entry for Lizzie Applegate from Message in a Haunted Mansion. Ah, and kanji symbols. That's interesting. What else? Harry Houdini, throwback to the final scene. we got over here? A nice reference desk. And these computers can get us into the library catalog. So in that note that we just found, Jake told us to search under his combo. We haven't found his locker combination yet, but when we do, we'll come back and see what we can find in the library catalog. But for now, one really cool cookie is if you just hit the space bar once and hit enter, the catalog will come up with every book that has been in the Nancy Drew series up to this point. So all of the books before 
Shadow at the Water's Edge, which is really cool. Um, you can see some books. Let's see. I think a lot of these are from Warnings at Waverly Academy. There's just so many. There's some funny ones too, like A Tale of Two Bunnies by Fluff E. Tail. Haha. <laughs> what else? Just lots of cool ones. I want to find one for you guys that's actually in one of the books. Oh, The Zodiac and You, that's from Message in a Haunted Mansion. So is Fortune Telling for Business Popularity and Oldest Romances. Some of them go in order, some of them don't. Some books about Paseo Del Mar. So yeah, if you want to check that out, I highly recommend it. Now we've looked at this level, let's see what we can find upstairs. Uh, let's go this way first. Oh! Saw a coin! There it is. And look what we have here. Jake was here. And we've been told to look in his chemistry book by one of the messages he left behind on those bulletin boards. And look what we have. Things to remember. Me. <laughs> we also have another letter down here that you're going to want to write down. A number, another chemical symbol and direction. And then some clues. The answer to my fate lies in the box. A matchbook's matchbook behind Maxine's schedule holds the first step. My messages hold the remaining 18 steps. So it looks like we need 18 of these letter combinations and then something from behind Maxine's schedule. And we looked at Maxine's schedule and there was a corner torn off, so I wonder how we're going to find that. The elements tell the order, the letter and digit tell the direction. Very interesting. So, oh good, we conveniently have a periodic table of the elements to help us with the order. That will be immensely helpful later on. Let's look and see if we can find some more books. Oh. Looks like somebody just set the alarm in the library. That's another kind of cool thing about this game is they had really subtle... Oh, I saw another coin. Subtle scare factor that... You know, isn't outright and is never really explained, but it adds to the overall environment of the game. It's pretty neat. Aha! Uh -huh, the Dynaham book. This is from The Secret of the Scarlet Hand. What else? Books? Aha! Uh -huh. Here we have... Oh, The Crystal Skulls, written by... None other than Professor Beatrice Hotchkiss, who makes a appearance in The Treasure in the Royal Tower, also in The Tomb of the Last Queen, and then she wrote this book for The Legend of the Crystal Skull. So she pops up quite a bit. Another coin. It's a good way to find coins, is just to move the mouse around the screen until you see a little shiny thing. Ah, here they are. Ah, this book is about El Toro, and it's from The Ransom of the Seven Ships. Book on this side would be... Where are you? Where, oh, where has my book gone? Are there two on this side? Or there's only one on this one? There's usually two. I guess there's only one. Hmm. What about this one? Really? Are there none on this side either? Sneaky. Okay. Oh, here we go. Ah, The Diary of Julius McQuaid. This one is from The White Wolf of Icicle Creek Lodge, and in the game it is not written in French, it is written in English. So it's kind of fun that they put it in French for this game. I'm not sure why they did, but I, I kind of like it. Neat little cookie there. You have to really pay attention in order to figure out where it's from. But that looks like all of the books that we can look at, so we're done exploring the library. Let's go 
meet a couple more people. So we haven't gone down this way yet. Into this little study room. Nice big bulletin board here. If we read this backwards, it says the hidden videotape will seal my murderer's fate. Whoa. And then another chemical symbol and direction for us to write down. Looks like Jake left behind lots of clues for us. It's making our job kind of easy. Ah, let's go meet this guy. Hi, my name's Nancy Drew. What's your name? Hal Tanaka. Actually, my first name is much longer than that. But I want to fit in here in America, so I chose Hal as my nickname. I'm a Japanese exchange student. Why do you think it's easier to have an American name? I want to be part of the culture and succeed in this country. Do you plan on staying in America after you finish high school? My family is counting on me to succeed here. I must make them proud of me. Proud of you? In Japan, it's very important that you do something your family can take pride in. I have made some mistakes, but I try to be a decent person. What kind of mistakes? I feel uncomfortable speaking about this now. Please, excuse me. No, 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 we're not done. I need to talk to you more, Mr. Hell. Have you heard of Hulk Sanchez? Heard of him? Hulk holds the conference record for quarterback sacks. He's been the state's number one player since he was a freshman. He's also a candidate for a big university, even with his injury. Injury? Hulk got hurt a few weeks ago. Ever since that game, he hasn't played the same. I worry that his chances of playing for a top school are not as good as before his injury. What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? He's very popular, and a good politician too. Just like his father. Like his father? I hear he was a great politician, but not a very good businessman. I think his company went bankrupt a few years ago. Do you know the combination to Jake Rogers' locker? I'm sorry, Nancy. I can't help you with that. See you later. See you later, Nancy. Never mind why I'm asking about that. It's not at all a suspicious question to be asking people. Gosh, Nancy. A little bit of sneakiness would, would be helpful here. Let's go down this hallway. Here's another billboard we need to look at, or bulletin board, or whatever, whatever they're called. Here we go. A crane contestant in a masked disguise won the prize money despite all the lies. Hmm. And then we have arsenic and up four. That's a pretty simple code. You just have to see the letters between the lines. Let's, we already talked to Hal. Let's go in here. We have another bulletin board with... Here's our announcement. L.A. I think that's loud enough or something like that. There's our chemical symbol. What else do we have in here? We have the Paseo High School Students of the Month. Uh, which are, I'm assuming, are all fans. The one that really stands out to me right here is Argyle Fomf. Anyone who plays Nancy Drew games has probably heard of Argyle Fomf and is probably obsessed with his videos. So, hi Argyle Fomf. You definitely deserve to be awarded Student of the Month for your awesome walkthroughs. Here we go, let's meet Connie. Hi, I'm Connie. You're not from around here, are you? Usually, Paseo del Mar High is really quiet and boring. Lately, it's been totally out of control. Is it that obvious I'm not from around here? I'm a school monitor, so I have to notice these things. You're very observant. We girls have to stick together. There are a lot of wolves walking around campus. Oh, what do you mean? You wouldn't want to waste your time with any of the guys at this school. Trust me, they're all a bunch of self-centered jerks. All of the guys? There are a few who are cool. Jake Rogers was not one of them. 
I take it Jake wasn't very popular. I avoided him whenever I could. Why is that? Jake was rude, dishonest, self-centered, and manipulative. Ouch. I gotta go now. Later. See, they all try to get rid of me so easily. Hey, Nancy. Need something? I am not done talking. Look at all these questions I still have to ask you. Have you seen any of those weird messages on the bulletin boards? <sighs> yes, and if I catch the guy who's doing it, he's going to be in big trouble. I bet it's the same person who keeps on setting off the soda machine alarm. Hmm. I guess that comes with a territory of being school monitor. Come Normally it's not this hectic. When I figure out who's been pulling all these pranks... How well do you know Daryl Gray? I wish I knew him better. He's the only guy I'd ever consider dating. He's student council president, holds a cool job at a diner called Maxine's, and drives a Seaback X80. Drives a sports car and works at a diner? That doesn't compute. But yeah, I don't get it either. Daryl's family was rich and used to throw major parties all the time, but not anymore. Why did you break your date with Daryl to the Sadie Hawkins dance? <sighs> it's a long story. Do you know Hal Tanaka? Not very well. He's an exchange student from Japan and a total workaholic. He told me he's trying to get more scholarships for college. Lately, he's been looking really burnt out. I think the pressure's getting to him. What pressure? I guess it's a big deal for his family that he get into a good school on a free ride. What do you know about Hulk Sanchez? He's a big jock on campus. Never dated him or anything. Your medallion has a symbol that means Crane, and Crane is the name of the judo school on the poster in the gym. What a coincidence. Funny, I never noticed. I gotta go now. Later. All right, now I'll let you go. And we'll pause here, and I'll see you in the next video.